basic business really win. Not in and in gold was we. These was we. Nish was we. Jungle we and it does we. We will, we will teach you how to. How to ten in Ojibwe. Moen. We will, we will teach you how to. back to Buju Nana Buju the podcast about Ojibwe language and culture I am Nana Buju and over here looking just as cute as the day is long <laughs> whatever that means <laughs> the lovely and talented Natasha Ikadon Buju Wini Mushane say hello sweetheart Buju Gakina hello everybody and over here, what do you know? The rock star cartoonist himself, Michael Lyons. Ikadon Buju Niji. Say hello, brother. Hey, everyone, how you doing? Welcome to the show. And today, we celebrate counting to ten in Ojibwe Moen. <laughs> yeah, I guess so, huh? Beijing Niche. Sway ni win, not in and in go to sway, nish was sway, nish was sway, jungle sway, and a midas way. <laughs> I love that song. Yeah, we told we totally stole that from Queen. I know. That's when that was the day we became famous. <laughs> what? The day we became internet famous. Oh, and that video went viral. Yeah. We recorded that video a couple years ago, you know. And we had been sharing little five, ten minute videos on Facebook and by this time we had a YouTube channel. But the weekend that movie about Queen came out, uh, you know, usually we get like 20 to 50 views. For some reason, because we stole that song, that video, we had 11,000 views. <laughs> yeah, 11,000, what? So I like to think that people all over the country learned to, to count to ten, and uh, you know we're reminded of how cool that "We Will Rock You" song is. <laughs> no kidding. Hey, sweetie, guess what? What's that? Gwen Carly's here. The Gwen Carly? I think so. Bonjour, Gwen. How you doing? Me no kikashi, my sister from another mister. <laughs> Let's give her a gold star. Gold star for Gwen. And John Redcorn's here. Boujou Niji. How are you? Silver Star for John. Silver Star for John. Hey, John. And Nancy Schmancy's back. Well, good morning, Nancy Schmancy. Have a cup of Muckety Mush Kiki Wabu. Have a cup of black medicine water. Pull up a chair. We're just warming ourselves by the fire. 
You know, it's still pretty chilly in the mornings here in northern Minnesota. Huh, sweetie? It sure are. It is. It sure are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Today is Nijo Gija Good. It is the second day, Tuesday. And even though it's, uh, I mean, I think it's, what? what is it, 43 degrees, sun's out, so it's warming up. But, uh, you know, it's still kind of too cold to ride a bike. It was yesterday. It was windy and cold. Yeah. But I think that lawn's just about ready to be mowed for the first time. I know. It's pretty. It's all green. Yeah. Lawns are green. The trees are budding. The leaves are coming back. Um, but today is Tuesday. Nijo, it is the second day. Beijing, Beijing, first. Nijo, second. Beijing, one. Nijo. Oh, here we go, sweetie. While we're thinking about it, number is an Ojibwe. Beijing, one. Nijo, two. This we. Hey, do we think to um? Get the count <laughs> queued up for the, uh, you think the count will call in today, sweetie? You know what? It seems pretty obvious that he should have, but no, I don't think he's, <laughs> we're planning on having the count call in. All right. I mean, that's the whole point. I know. Why didn't we think of that? Beijing, one. Nij, two. Niswi, three. Niwin, four. Nanan, five. Not to be confused with Ningod Waswe, six. Nij Waswe, seven. Nish Waswe, eight. Jongaswe, nine. Midaswe, ten. And this is counting to ten in Ojibwe Mowen. Beijing nish na sway ni win na ni na ni ngod wa sway nish wa sway nish wa sway jungle sway and a mita sway we will we will teach you how to count to ten in Ojibwe mo and everybody singing <laughs> everybody singing. What's your favorite Queen song? Under Pressure. Wow, you answered that fast. Well, yeah, but it's a Bowie song. Under Pressure. Bum ba da bum ba da bum bum. Bum ba da bum ba da bum bum. Sequoia, hummingbird, is here right now. She's on the show. Bushu Sequoia, hummingbird, me no giga shape, niji quay. Mino Giga Jabe Niji Kwe. Good morning, female Niji. I think that's the best uh, translation for Niji Kwe. You think so? Yeah. It's your, I mean, it's not your girlfriend. That would be kind of like Weenie Mushane. That's what I call you. Yeah. But if you have a female friend, you don't call her your Niji. And I'd be like, you know, that's what guys call each other. You call you call her your Nij Ikwe. Ikwe means woman. It means lady. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> but these are just some of the words. Then if you want to go on from after 10, you just add Ashi. Ashi Nij, Ashi. Or Ashi Beijing, Ashi Nij, Ashi Nisue, Ashi Niwin. That'd be like 11, 12, 13, 14. And on and on and on. But what else is going on, sweetie? You want to take a call? Take a call? I suppose I could. It would have been really cool if I could have taken a call from the Count from Sesame Street, but whatever. <laughs> I know. Uh, let's see. Who, uh, who could be on the line? Welcome to the show. Caller, you're on the air. <laughs> Where's Shanna? Where's your... Uh, who is ya? Hey, President Joe Biden, sweetie. It's the President of the United States. 
Bum, 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 bum. Hi, President Joe Biden. I think you're just saying the Queen of England song. Oh, right. Sorry. Hey, oh, hello there, Natasha. Hey, you, oh, you smell good. You can't smell me and cut it out. What's going on, Joe? Yes, I wanted to call in to see you. And I, I was going to... Um, See, what's I gonna say? Oh yeah, let's say a Jibwe word of the day. I wanna learn that uh, the Jibwe word of the day. You know, cause uh, I can taste it. <laughs> okay. Today is a uh, Tuesday, Mr. President, and so we call it Nijo Kisha Good. Who's hey, You call it Nijo Kisha Good? What did I tell you? Nijo Kisha. That's a good day for Tuesday. You know, I used to work at the pool. At the what now? The pool there, you know, a, and the boys would come around and be like, hey, corn pop, you're a bad dude. And I'd be like, hey, hey, boy, you know, this is a white, white only pool. Get out of here. I'm going to wrap this bicycle chain around your neck. <laughs> what are you talking about? There's a corn pop. He's a bad dude. So I say, you know, I may, you're a. I think he's sleeping. Yeah. Should I wake him? I don't know. <laughs> What's it? Hello, Mr. President. Who is this? Uh, it's Nana Bujo. You just called into my show. Oh, that's right. Hey, what's she a Jibway word of the day? <laughs> well, uh, like I just said, it's Nijo Gija Good. Second day. It's Tuesday. But more importantly, how are you? How are you holding up these days? We've been a little worried about you. Well, you know, that, uh, that black girl, she's been uh, sniffing around. She wants my job. <laughs> Who now? You know that black girl with a funny name? You mean Vice President Harris? Yeah, what's your Camel Harris? Kamala. Kamala Harris. I think she wants my job. Well, you know, if anything happens to you, she'll be the new Ogama. The new chief. <laughs> yeah. You gonna be okay with that? What's that now? Uh, listen, man, I gotta go. I gotta go back to my show. Oh, okay. Well, hey, hey. How do you say goodbye in a chip way? Uh, we don't really say goodbye. We say, I will see you again. Gigawabamin. Minowa. What now? <laughs> Gigawabamin. Minowa. Gigawabamin. Mino. All right, see you later, Mr. President. He fell asleep. Yeah, well, he's getting old. <laughs> what is the presidential song? I can never remember that. I know, I always want to sing God Save the Queen. <laughs> yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, here's a good song. Da 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 la 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 do 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 la di you're graduating if I was ever like the uh, graduation speaker I'd just sing the kids down the aisle <laughs> you'd sing that song yeah you know that song that song's been needing lyrics for a while so you're graduating today. Put on a black judge's robe for some reason. <laughs> yeah, why do they do that? I don't know. Put on this ridiculous looking black mortarboard cardboard thing on your head and walk up on a stage. Everyone's so proud of you because you're graduating today. <laughs> and then they all line up and I'd be like the keynote speaker. Friends, relatives, jealous college dropouts. <laughs> and, you know, whatever. Today's graduation speech. If I can give one bit of advice to the future leaders of tomorrow. You got to talk like that when you do the graduation speeches. Um, okay, between you and me, 
They don't want you to know this. If you don't pay back your student loans, it's going to be okay. What will happen is they're going to hound you for years. They're going to threaten to take away. You know, they might even, if you work at a really bad place, your boss may uh, just take out your student loans right out of your paycheck and send it to the government. But it takes a long time for those guys to work out making you pay your student loan back. If you don't want to get a new, if you don't want to buy a new car or a new house or go into debt further after college, I mean, let's face it, that was really stupid what you did, borrowing money to pay for classes. What? Is it really worth $2,000 to learn about Shakespeare? You could buy an old used pickup with that. You know, you could buy a pretty sweet guitar with that. But no, you took out a loan year after year thinking, ah, who cares? By the time I graduate, I'll worry about it then. Well, here you are. You just graduated. Now you're $85,000 in debt. And your resume is less impressive than it was four years ago. Because now you've just been a part-time coffee server at Starbucks. And you've proven to the world that you don't have the sense not to go to college. But, so, okay, so you went to college. Now, what are you going to do? You can't afford your student loans. Don't buy a new car. That's stupid. You're thinking, well, I'm going to need a new car because I'm going to have this crappy job in this Minneapolis. Don't take, you know, whatever. If you don't pay your student loan back, after seven years, uh, your credit rating goes back to zero. They'll tell you, oh no, it follows you around forever. But I never paid back my student loans. I had zero credit rating. I couldn't even get a Walmart card. But, you know, time has a way of going by. And now it's been 20 years. What was it? 94 I graduated. So now there's 20, was it 30 years? Whatever. This will give you an idea. George W. Bush was still president when I graduated from college. It was back in the days of the grandfathers. But I turned around thinking, oh, I don't have any credit. Went to the bank about a year ago and they were like, hey, well, Mr. Responsible, I notice you have no bad credit for the last 20 years. You haven't been late on any payments or, you know, did anything. Can we give you a car loan? Can we give you a credit card? Can we give you all kinds of, you know, they were like, always forgiven. And I still have a college grad, college degree on the walls over there. I have a meaningless college diploma. So there you go. And in closing, this day of graduation, we're all so proud of you. Sorry you made such a stupid mistake, but we all made the same mistake, so good luck, kids. Now go out there and live your dreams. You want to add anything? <laughs> to your graduation speech? Yeah. Um, go meet somebody nice and make a family. <laughs> Okay, and don't wait too long to go meet somebody nice and start a family. That's what the whole point of college was. You're supposed to meet somebody nice to start start a family with. You're supposed to go in there and get your MRS degree. <laughs> yeah, your Mrs. degree. <laughs> What's your problem that you spent six years getting a four-year degree? Yeah. You were surrounded by nothing but beautiful single women. Yep. And you couldn't find one to marry. I know. What's up with that? Eh, you know, it was a bunch of feminists. <laughs> it was a bunch of feminists. They didn't want to marry me. Yeah, that's true. La, Hey, the Women's March is coming up, sweetie. You're going to go to the Women's March? <laughs> I don't think so. You don't want to go on, put on that pink hat of yours and... March around, crying your body, your choice. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm going to go to the Women's March. You're not allowed to. Oh, really? 
That's discrimination. Actually, I think you can't go to the Women's March. Wouldn't it be funny if just like a whole bunch of dudes just dominated the Women's March? Come on, guys. Let's all go to the Women's March and pick up chicks. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Women's March. We want equal rights. Okay. Go ahead. Who's stopping you? I don't know. Sunny day. What are you guys doing? What are you looking at? Hey, you know what I wanted to do, sweetie? What's that? Um, I wanted to review another children's book. Oh, yeah. Let's do that right now. Okay. Remember when you were a kid and you had children's books? And how crazy. This is how weird. If you're a Gen Xer, you might relate to this. When you look back on your childhood and all the crazy pop cultural stuff we had. From Where the Wild Things Are to, you know, really Sesame Street too was kind of psychedelic in a lot of ways. But nothing was cooler than... Uh, Green Eggs and Ham. Dr. Seuss. I love Green Eggs and Ham. Yeah. Dr. Seuss uh, was this crazy cartoonist. I think he did the drawings too, right? Yeah, he had to be. You know, he had his own style. And, uh, you know, his books are very handmade. Um, he did so many of them that they get lost in the shuffle. But this thing was so cool. I read it a million times. And I even had a record of like Dr. Seuss songs. And I remember reading along to Green Eggs and Ham while listening to the record with this like cool jazz music and stuff. Uh, Green Eggs and Ham. But for today, kids watching the show today. Check out Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. And, sweetie, will you help me read this? Sure. Do you want to be uh, Sam I Am? I'll be Sam I Am. Okay, I'll read the other guy. Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. Um, the I am Sam. Sam, I am. That Sam I Am, that Sam I Am. I do not like that Sam I am. <laughs> do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. He's trying to get away from them. <laughs> what are you like a, a green egg and ham pusher would you eat them in a box would you eat them with a fox you're a fox not in a box not in a fox with a fox not in a house not with a mouse I would not eat them here or there I would not eat them anywhere I would not eat green eggs and ham I do not like them Sam I am <laughs> Look at that crazy artwork. He's just walking up and down those little mounds of grass. Would you, could you, in a car? Eat them. Eat them. Here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. <laughs> Even if you ran me over. You may like them. You will see. You may like them in a tree. I would not, could not, in a tree. Not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. 
I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. <laughs> I'm still arguing the point. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not in a box. I could not, would not with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. <laughs> he really wants him to try those green eggs and ham. I know, huh? Take a hint, Sam, I am. Say, in the dark? Here, in the dark? Would you, could you, in the dark? I would not, could not, in the dark. <laughs> it's like, they're like rappers. Yeah, yeah. Would you, could you, in the train? In the rain? I would not, could not, in the rain. Not in the dark. Not in the train. Not in a car. Not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house. Not in a box. Not with a mouse. Not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Just pushing it in his face as they ride on top. You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. That's what I've been trying to say. <laughs> could you, would you, with a goat? I would not, could not, with a goat. Would you, could you, on a boat? I could not, would not, on a boat. I will not, will not, with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on the train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them. Anywhere. That's how Paul Stanley would say it. <laughs> yeah. Anywhere. Oh, whoa. I do not like green eggs and ham. <laughs> Everything comes splashing down. I do not like them. Sam, I am. You do not like them? So you say. Try them. Try them. And you may. Try them and you may, I say. Yeah, those green eggs and ham would be really good now in the ocean. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. So he looks at it there. <laughs> Doesn't look too good. Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam, I am. I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. Now he's hooked. And I will eat them in the rain, and in the dark, and on a train, and in a car, and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box, and I will eat them with a fox. And I will eat them in a house, and I will eat them with a mouse. And I will eat them here and there, say, I will eat them anywhere. Anywhere, sweetie. He's going to eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you. Sam, I am. Thank you for getting me hooked on green eggs and ham, Sam. Now I'm addicted. <laughs> no. <laughs> green eggs and ham by Dr. Seuss. What do you think, sweetie? How many thumbs up? I give it two thumbs up. Really? Yeah, it's awesome. All the rhyming and stuff, and it's just great. You know what else I like about it? What's that? It's just straight up fun. It's not like, it doesn't have to be like a hidden educational message, even though it teaches you how to rhyme. Yeah. Yeah, he just made a great little fun rhyme with a little crazy story of these two guys. One guy's trying to get 
him to try some sort of crazy green food. There's no hidden message. It's not, you know. Too many stories now are kind of about, oh, here's the message behind the story and the lesson. How about just making good poems and pictures? Because that's what children's books really are, poems and pictures. Yeah. Even if it's like a, um, a prose poem. Yeah. Even if it's a prose poem. It doesn't have to uh, rhyme, but this one does. So, yeah, I give this a... To um, justify or somehow fight off the copyright strike we're going to get. This is a review of the book Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. And we give it five out of five stars. Nah, four, four out of five stars. How come only four? Um, his artwork is very stylized and he gets away with it. But it doesn't compare to Corduroy or Where the Wild Things Are visually dr seuss can't you know he's a b minus cartoonist i would say yeah i mean it works but it's not there's room for improvement <laughs> this is my opinion you stick to it yeah teens oh brother I thought we had a new uh, chat, but I think it's a, just a gross bot like from last night. But Sir Fev is here. Hey, boo Sir Fev. A shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. Do, 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 do. Don't know. Is, is Sir Fev talking about Biden? Maybe. I went to college to party all those potential soon-to-be wives, but I was told I could only have one, only one. I had my eyes on at least five wives. So, this is a real person? You chose the name Teasin' Pleasin' uh, 69. I thought you were like one of those gross porn site. Yesterday we got uh, trolled by gross, you know, advertising for those kind of sites. <laughs> Why would you? Mindy Moya is here, sweetie. What was you, Mindy Moya? Hey, Mindy Moya. <laughs> and Grassroots Indians. Okay, hey, hey Niji. Hey, Grassroots. Teasin' pleasin'. And you spelled it all. I don't know. <laughs> I know it's pretty rude of me to call you out on your, you know, you just chose it. Yeah, I'll be funny. Teasin' pleasin' 69. It just sounds so adult website y that it's, it grosses me out. <laughs> Tease and please and says, I don't watch porn, Sam. I am not in a house, not with a puppet. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's probably me that why my mind connected that way. Oh, I thought we were being trolled again, but I should get off the subject. Sweetie, do you want to get up here? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna let Natasha get up here and talk before I before I do more damage. This is a video for a book by Michael Lyons, a rock star cartoonist called Dog and My Ingun. Dog and My Ingun is available for sale on Amazon.com, along with other books and comics by Michael Lyons. Yeah, thank you very much. You're very welcome. And up next, the lovely and talented Natasha. Miigwech bizindawiyeg. Dog and Mainga. By Michael Lyons. Hello. Bonjour. One. Beijing. 
One dog. Bejig on a mosh. One wolf. Bejig mahinga. Two. Nige. Two eagles. Nige megazi wog. Three. This way. Three bears. This way. Mukwog. Four. Ni win. Four raccoons. Ni win. Hazy banana. Nanan. Five. Five deer. Nanan. Wawa shigeshi wog. Six. Nin gold was way. Six. Crows. Nin gold was way. Ande wog. Seven. Nige was way. Seven rabbits. Nige was way. Wabuzug. Eight. Ish was way. Eight squirrels. Ish was way. Misa jidamu. Nine. Janga sway. Nine birds. Janga sway. Beneshi young. Ten. Midaswe. Ten butterflies. Midaswe. Mamengua. Me wetch. Thank you. Dog and Maingan by Michael Lines. Available at Amazon.com. Bonjour. Okay, my hair is still a little screwed up. I gotta go back get my hair fixed. <laughs> my bangs are too short. She cut them too short. How you doing, everybody? Oh, wow, it's really pretty out here. Country roads take me home to the place where I belong, West Virginia. Mountain mama. Out here in an old country road. Oh. Gonna say a little prayer. Got my sema, my tobacco. Get you mana do. O tapanan, niwi a sema. Great spirit, please accept my tobacco. The guy we took a wishing and min away noon gum. Please help me to speak well today. Mi quetch ka iji ka kina ke ku ka iji chukea noon gum. Thank you for everything that you do today. Mi quetch ka iji bamada zian. Thank you for my life. Miigwech bizindawi egg. Thank you for listening. Ape inge. Amen. And uh, <laughs> country roads take me home to the place where I belong. West Virginia. Well, I think we're back. It's no longer winter. We've made it through the winter. And I mean, it's not exactly summer, but it's definitely spring. It's definitely a different season. A good time to start again. Good time for a change. See the luck I've had. Could make a good man bad. <laughs> oh, I got nothing to say today. I'm just hanging out. You want to hang out outside with me? <laughs> you know, sometimes. You know you're with a good friend. I mean, it's not necessarily a 
a scale of like a good, like a valuable friend, but you know you're with a familiar friend and a trusted person that doesn't need where you trust you guys are a good friend is someone you can be quiet with. And I know we're never quiet for very long on this show. But you ever been with somebody and you just kind of experience the quiet time together? You know, traditional Indian people are sometimes, we all know someone like that who just doesn't talk much. It doesn't matter. They have like a gentle energy about them. You can kind of smile and giggle once in a while and you don't really need to talk much. You're just hanging out. And sometimes that's fine. That's what pets are like. It's a friend you don't have to talk to, <laughs> you know. But you get it. You express your friendship and your love. But it's not constant chatter and describing something or explaining your love. Ooh, I love you so much, cat. You don't have to. You just give him a pet. Pick him up in your arms. Carry him around like a baby for a minute. I heard recently that cats, they only meow to humans. Cats don't meow to each other. Um, you know, they communicate non-verbally. Except for humans, <laughs> they'll... I think they're, they're like trying to fake human speech. Because sometimes Bagheera will be crying outside the door and I'll hear him say, Hello? Hello? It really sounds like he's saying hello. <laughs> and I know I'm just, it's probably my imagination, but. Almost heaven, West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain, Shenandoah River. Life is old there, older than the cows. <laughs> Dudu Muan, a lot of Dudu Muan in this field. <laughs> a lot of bull crap in that field. It's a lot of bull crap in the world. But it's what you what we we have to have to fertilize the ground. If it wasn't for bull crap, the crops would never grow. It takes sunshine and light, rain and showers, and a whole lot of bull crap mixed together with the seeds to bring life forth. And this has been <laughs> my yearn. Moment of Natasha's Nabwakawin. Natasha's wisdom. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll go back. Boop. Okay, Bushu. Hi, sweetie. You ready to come home? Yep. All right, hang on. I'm going to scan for your coordinates. All right. One to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Pretty good. Still feeling kind of self-conscious about my bad haircut. Oh, it's not that bad. Hello, kids. What to do if you have a bad haircut? Some people call it having a bad hair day. You, it could not even, sometimes you can have a bad day. And it's not that you got a bad haircut like me. It's that um, you woke up with bed head and you didn't have time to fix your hair. And so you go through the whole day with this ridiculous feeling of not being attractive. It's called a bad hair day. And you might lash out at your friends. You know, beware the bad hair day. Take some time or put a cap on or something, you know, work it out. I say that with us. Hi. I feel like Dwight 
on the office. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? I'm all forehead. You could help me between sh shots, you know. I tried, but I forgot. <laughs> Country roads. So what, what have you guys been doing around here? Oh, not much. Just waiting for you to come back. You want to take a call? Sure, I'll take a call. What line? On line two. All right. Hello, caller. Welcome to the Boo Not a Boo podcast. You're on the air. Hey there, Natasha. How you doing? It's me, Keanu Reeves. Hey, Keanu Reeves. We haven't seen you in a while. Sweetie, it's the movie star, Keanu Reeves. Okay, boo Keanu. Hey there, little dude. How you doing? Uh, don't call me a little dude. <laughs> hey, Natasha, wanted to ask you a question. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, I was wondering if you could, uh, would you teach us how to count to ten in Ojibwe? Well, sure, I'd be happy to. In Ojibwe, uh, Beijing is one. Beijing? Nij. Nij. Niswe. Niswe. Niwin. Niwin. Nanin. Nanin. So is that one, two, three, four, five? All right. And then to count to six to ten, six is Ningodwaswe. Ningodwaswe. Seven's Nijwaswe. Nijwaswe. <laughs> yep. Eight is Nishwaswe. Nishwaswe. Nine is Jongaswe. Jongaswe. And ten is Midaswe. Midaswe. All right, gnarly. You know, I wanted to learn how to count to ten in Ojibwe because I think it's gnarly. <laughs> yeah. So how's everything else going on in your life? Oh, pretty good. You know, just hanging out with my girlfriend. She's not all young and hot, you know, like all the other movie stars' girlfriends. My girlfriend is, you know, an appropriate age, and I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, I know. Why do you keep bringing it up? Well, you know, she's got gray hair and she's all nasty. You want to say hi? No, I'd really rather not. Hey, darling, why don't you come over and say hello to Natasha? She's on the Booze You Not a Booze You podcast. Hey, what's that now? Oh, hello, dear. Well, hello, Keanu Reeves, girlfriend. Welcome back to the show. How are you? Oh, I don't know. I'm not feeling so good. I got the room in Natasha. I, <laughs> oh, I pooped myself. Oh. Hey, Natasha, I gotta go. Gotta go clean up my girlfriend's poo. She pooed her depends. It's all gnarly and gross. But I don't even care, because I love her. And I don't care what she looks like. <laughs> okay. Uh, you go take care of that. I'll see you again. Gigawap a min. Mean a wa. Gigawap a min. Mean a wa, little girl. Don't call me little girl. He's weird. Yeah, I know. Every time. He exploits that old lady of his. And she's not even that old. I think she's actually younger than him. Such a cheap joke. Anyway. Hey, you guys. <laughs> what? Nothing. I'm just smiling. If you'd like to support the show, um, we have links in the description. Um, to Patreon, PayPal, and GoFundMe. Uh, we didn't write it here. We also have a, a Teespring. And there's actually a couple of cool things on Teespring. Don't buy any of the stuff with our pictures on it. Um, we're going to be changing stuff soon. But there's a couple of things. Like if you want to get a little baby jumper, you know, for like an infant that says, Hoa. We made up some t-shirts that'll say that. That's pretty cute. Wait, wait, we also have a Teespring. And um, Michael Lyons has books for sale like Dog and Ingen. And also a coloring book called An English Ojibwe Coloring Book. Yay, give me one. Yay, it's raining. It's raining again. La la, di -di da di -di do <laughs> Anyway, um... And of course, we also, during the live stream, we have Super Chat, 
capability if you want to give us a tip we always appreciate that please no pressure i always feel kind of guilty because it's like hey come on over for a cup of coffee and leave a whole bunch of money <laughs> you know i know because that's what the this show kind of feels like you know what we should do next time michael what's that we should kind of do a uh, practice run of what the live show will be on the morning show you think so? Yeah. You know, we'll just, we'll get you to come out here and just practice what a live show would look like. Okay. Coming up, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Um, We're going to do our live stream. Oh, and I didn't bring up the poster again. Our, um, on Saturday in Duluth at the Washington Artist Cooperative Gym whatever that place is called, the Washington School on Lake Avenue and 4th Street. From 10 to 2, there's a conference called Mino Bamadizi. There's going to be a morning prayer, drum group thing, vendors, a community lunch. And at 2 o'clock, Nana Bujou, the star of the show, <laughs> and me and rock star cartoonist, Michael Lyons are going to be there live. We're going to sing some songs, tell some stories, tell some jokes. And uh, it'd be great if you wanted to come out and see us. It's free. Free food. <laughs> That's all we have to say. You just know we're going to get so many of the neighborhood shanobs as soon as they hear free free food now? When, what time is this? <laughs> There's probably going to be fry bread and wild rice. I'm not going to have an Indian gathering and not have fry bread and wild rice. So come on down, Washington, artist, community, blah, 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 thingy. And, uh, yeah. So what else, sweetie? What else what? What else is going on that I should uh, talk about? Want to say hi to some Buju crew people? Yeah, sure, why not? Who else is here? Sure, realist. That's gross. <laughs> Me and Awa. <laughs> what are we talking about? You're probably right, but personally, I think Keanu had a crush on Nanabuju. Keeps calling him little dude. I know. What is that? I don't know. Oh, she really think it's gross how uh, <laughs> Keanu Reeves' girlfriend keeps pooping herself. Well, she can't help it. She's old. There's no shame. Nancy Schmidt and a t-shirt. Oh, we're perfect. Oh, Nancy, did you get a t-shirt, too? Let me, let me go back a little bit. La, da, da. Sequoia says, my pup cries, mama. Yeah, you can teach dogs to speak English. Mama. Because <laughs> if they can remember the sound that made you go, hey, did you just say? <laughs> you know, they might do it again. <laughs> Shady side is here, sweetie. Okay, bonjour, Shady side. And Jim Dunn's back. <laughs> Wrap your water pipes with heat cable this summer. Yeah, Michael, we got to do that this summer. Oh, put heat cable around the water pipes so it don't, they don't freeze? Yeah, that was a whole thing this winter. Our pipes kept freezing and they finally burst. <laughs> we, were, we were pooping in a plastic bag. Ugh. What a nightmare this the winter of 2022 was. I mean, I'm glad we didn't have to, you know, leave the house that much because we work out of the home, you know. It would have been way worse if we were traveling and stuff. But, yeah, it was a long, cold, lonely winter. But now, do 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 here comes the sun. And Mindy Moya says, I know a cat whose meow sounds like mom. Mom! <laughs> mom! Because you know you're going to get fat if a cat's yelling mom at you. <laughs> I give her all my money. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Missy's finally back. Hey, Missy, what's going on? John Redcorn says, sorry, Missy. That was last week. Not going to be able to make it. Oh, John Redcorn was going to... Oh, John, you can't make it to Country Kitchen on Friday? We were going to have lunch with, with John Redcorn, or breakfast. 
brunch, I guess, with that 10. But he says he's not going to be able to make it. John says, she stood me up. <laughs> well, I was going to bring these boys, too, you know. I wouldn't just go. I, I don't think it's appropriate for a lady who's spoken for to have breakfast dates with men. Yeah, dude. You better watch it. Yeah. Go kick his ass. No, I wouldn't kick his ass. Don't talk. <laughs> go mess him up. Studis. Skoden. <laughs> Someday we got to do a show where today's Ojibwe word of the day is just different res slangs. Skoden. Skoden in English means let's go then. <laughs> but in Ojibwe, that's the sound you hear right before a bar fight. Studis in English means let us do this. <laughs> but in the res vernacular, it means let's fight. <laughs> Studis. What's another one? Hikes. <laughs> Hikes. Hikes is what we say instead of swearing. It has something to do with football and hike. I don't know what hikes means. Hikes. Hikes is the non-swear version. <laughs> you know, in English, hikes means whatever swear word you can insert. Ojibwe people don't swear. There's no swear words in Ojibwe. Except doo doo muan, I guess. <laughs> but Elder one time was asked, you know, but swear words, and he goes, yeah, there's, there's no swear words in the Ojibwe language. English speaker goes, well, what do you say when you smash your thumb with a hammer? He goes, well, that's when we use English. <laughs> there's a reason we have to learn English. Got to be able to swear sometimes. I swear. My grandmother would never swear. She'd say, honestly. Oh, honest to Pete. <laughs> That's as much of a swear word my grandma could get out. Oh, honestly. Honest to bits. Honest to Pete. <laughs> it's like, ooh, take it easy, grandma. She's really angry now. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> There's another one. For crying out loud. Honestly, for crying out loud. <laughs> La Missy said, Michael and I will be in Bina for Memorial Day services. Please come and visit. We will be at the cemetery. Yeah, you keep it up, uh, Missy. You'll be at the cemetery first. <laughs> Don't threaten Missy. I can threaten Missy. Who do you think would win in a fight between me and Missy? Uh, Missy. <laughs> really? Why? Well, for one thing, Missy has legs. Oh, yeah, I'm disabled. I keep forgetting that. You would fight a disabled person? I'd, I was born without legs. Real nice, Missy. Yeah, why don't you beat up a disabled veteran? What are you, a veteran now? I sure am. I'm a veteran of the Cola Wars. <laughs> of the Cola Wars? Yeah, remember the 80s when I was always like, do you like Pepsi or do you like Coke? I couldn't decide. It was the Cola Wars. I'm a veteran of the... Cola Wars. And it was a war. And there were casualties. Michael Jackson. That's right. That's when Michael Jackson's hair got set on fire. Yeah. So kids, look into it. Your teachers don't want to talk about it. They're not going to teach you this in school. But there was a war in the 1980s between Coke and Pepsi. Which was better? And it was, came, went down in history as the Cola Wars. Many lives were lost. Families torn apart. And Michael Jackson was never the same. He became a disfigured, disabled veteran of the Cola Wars. If it wasn't for the Cola War, Michael Jackson probably wouldn't have become addicted to drugs. You think? Probably. Because that's when he... uh. You know, I had to go to the hospital for those very serious burns to his hair. What? I look like my, I look like, like I was in a Pepsi commercial and my hair burned. 
This is the exact hair do that Michael Jackson had after his hair was burned in the Pepsi commercial. <laughs> no, it's not. That's what I look like. I look like... Like when Michael Jackson was still black, but after his hair burned, that's me. Hee hee hee, Shamoa. No. <laughs> All right. Anything else, boss? No, that's great. Tell him we'll be back tomorrow. He sure will. Hey, everyone. Just want to say miigwech for listening. Miigwech bizendawi egg. Thank you for listening. And, uh, Miigwech gonna wabi egg. Thank you for watching. Boozhu, Nana Boozhu, the podcast about terrible haircuts <laughs> and culture. I am Natasha. This over here, oh my. <laughs> oh my. Nana Boozhu. Okay, hey, Miigwech. We'll see you tomorrow. This over here, rock star cartoonist, Michael Lyons. Thanks so much. We'll see you tomorrow. And I will see you again. Giga wabba min. Mina wa. Oh. All right, sweetie, one last time. Okay. To the barber shop you go. Yeah, somewhere. Um, hey, take me to the salon where Paul Stanley gets his wigs. All right. See you tomorrow. One to teleport. Make it so, number one. <laughs> nah. <laughs>